Hi, welcome back to the My Nature Apps channel. We're going to take a look at bull thistle today. Um, there's many types of uh, species of thistles. We're in the Adirondacks, and you can get it confused with some other ones, but we're going to give you a couple of key points to ID this flower by. One of them is going to be the size of the flowering head. If the size of the flowering head is uh, more than an inch long, an inch tall, uh, anywhere from an inch to two to two and a half inches tall, it's going to be a bull thistle. If it's under an inch, then you're going to be a field thistle probably. And one good thing to do is always, you know, have a reference point with you. My fingertip is a, just a little over three quarters of an inch wide, and you can always just step things off with your fingertip. Um, so know the width of your fingertip when you want to measure stuff outdoors. Uh, mine's actually seven eighths, so this is just about uh, two fingertips to go down that. Um, another characteristic to ID this flower with is the leaves and the stem. Uh, the stem and the leaves are very thorny, uh, whereas field thistle is going to be smoother. And one of the good features on this, I'm going to have to put something in here for a reference point. If you can see the stem in here, right here particularly, if I can get my pointer on it. And where is my pointer? I think I must have went too far down. I did. If you can see right, where are we? We're not doing very good, and I really don't want to stick my fingers in here. There we go. There we go. If you can see these little wing projections right here on the stem, that's going to tell you that you've got bull thistle. So that's one of the greatest uh, characteristics right there to ID this wildflower. And you can see the projections, they run right up this part here. And they're kind of sporadic. They're, they're placed here and there. They're not all the way up the stem. But the stem is very hairy, very spiny. Um, the leaves themselves are greatly lobed. I'm uh, sorry, deeply cut into lobes and those are about six inches long they can get up to six inches long the entire plant here uh, can grow up to six foot tall this particular one is about uh, pushing about four feet so those are the few of the things you want to look for the width of uh, the height of this head and you don't want to handle this with your bare hands either that's very 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 pricky uh, but you want to look at the, the height of this head um, the wing projections on the stem the deeply cut leaves, four to six inches long, that's going to point towards bull thistle. I just wanted to point something else out. A lot of people think this entire thing is just the flower. But in actuality, each one of these little, there's a little red tube right here. Each one of those is an individual flower. It's pretty cool. So there you go. For today, we just ID'd bull thistle. You're going to know what to look for next time you're out in the woods. Thanks for joining us. Find us on the web, manytraps.com. Have a great day in the woods.